We have decided to make a game using targets. We'll start by having three targets and then we'll use a laser that we'll make in the shape of a gun using wood. We will aim the laser at the middle of the target. Now the targets will be moved, they'll be coded to move randomly and be moved using servos. Now we will use the gun to point the laser at the middle of the target. It will hit a photoresistor and when it hits this, an LED will be activated and this will indicate a point. And you continue to do so until the game's finished. There were three main things we needed to build for this project. The frame of the game, the three targets and lastly some kind of gun for the laser. Sides were nailed and glued together to form the base structure. From here it was painted to look like grass and foam board was cut to give a cartoon feel. As for the main build, the frame and body of the game, we made this in the DJ CAD workshop using MDF board. This was appropriately measured and cut to size with a bandsaw before being assembled with PVA wood glue and tacks to secure it. This was then taken away and painted with the targets. The laser we used was a simple pen bought online from Maplin. We started with the targets, which needed to be lightweight so that the servo motors could move them. This is why we decided to make them using foam boards and simple lollipop sticks. The targets were made to look simplistic and recognisable to people not familiar with the product. A laser pointer was attached to the gun shaped bit of wood to make it functional and fun. The last job was to create the laser gun. This was constructed from a spare piece of pine cut into two parts the barrel and the handle. This barrel had a groove cut into it for the laser pen and the back was left open so that the trigger and handle could slot in. The trigger was a very simple hammer held in place by a steel rod and sprung forward with elastic bands. Once this was assembled we had everything we needed to put the game together. The design process to create the program started with us creating a list of requirements. From this we created circuit designs to ensure that the Arduino would not blow a fuse when drawing a large current. We were going to need three moving targets and therefore required three servos. These were connected to an external power source only keeping the digital pins connected to the Arduino to control the servos. Originally we worked on two separate Arduinos to work on different areas of the code to handle the servos and the sensors. Once we merged our code together into a single Arduino, we ran into a physical limitation of the Arduino. When the laser hit the surface of the photoresistor, the light and buzzer did not switch on until about two whole seconds after the shot was made. To counteract this, we switched back to using two Arduinos, one to handle the servos and the other to handle the photoresistors. The Arduino controlling the servos randomly selects how many servos to switch on. It then randomly selects which servo or combination of servos to turn on and off and in which order. The photoresistors have to be calibrated for the room it is in and can accurately detect when the laser increases the luminosity on the photoresistor. Once the photoresistor detects a shift in luminosity, the code in the loop function will check if the light levels reach a specific threshold. Once this has been detected, the buzzer and light switch on and off, indicating that the user has hit the target. 